I'm surprised we can stand here at all. What... what in the hell is this place? Beats me. I've never seen anything like it. More importantly, where's the Great Spirit? Look! Over there! What in the world? It's changing shape? Oh, this is bad. It looks like it's regaining all of its energy. It's going to grow even bigger than before! Damn it! Come on, we've got to find a way to... Watch out! Something's heading our way! Yes, they're here to try to stop us. There's so many of them. That means we've got it running scared. Let's take these out and keep moving! Get out of our way already! I didn't expect such base tactics from a supreme being. You can't assume we're fighting something that thinks like a human. Whatever it is, it's wasting time that we don't have. Yeah, not only that, but that thing is getting bigger by the minute. It's starting to slow down the more it grows. We should be able to catch up soon enough. We just need to hold on. Stay strong, everyone, and stand your ground! Hold on. Why did it stop absorbing the energy from Dana? Like it or not, it lacks the means to do so whilst fighting us. We've become the bigger threat and forced its hand. All right, then. Let's get to work so we can take back the Renis Alma. Run! 
Fine. We're going to start the ceremony now, before it can recover. Shion. Yeah. as I told you I would. it over right now. You plan to use this to defeat the Great Spirit. Which is precisely why I'm here. Stand aside and watch. Just as well as you and your sorry lot. The great spirit that tried to control me will be annihilated. I won't let you do that! Yet do it I shall. And there's nothing you can do to stop me. You bastard! I shall fulfill my duty as a ruler. With this power, I'll bury that woman and the great spirit. Then this charade will finally end!
save everyone. And see ya! Silence. I'll tear you apart. Slay the girl and the girl. And erect a fortress of death over both worlds. What do you get from this? When you have all that power, what will you do? My dominion shall reign over all existence. Nothing else matters. This is so you can rule over all existence just because? Despicable as they were, even the other ones, even the Great Spirit had a future in mind. You have nothing, only death. So what? It matters little. You are pathetic. Truly pathetic. And you're not. You are a failure. Empty. A sovereign who couldn't even die in his own time as he Their while I was still alive after so long. There are things in this world, and they're here and now, that are worth protecting. That's why I'm still here. And I won't let you take them away! Demon Fang! <laughs> Burn! A fury of Demon lightning! Swallow Blade! Demon Fang! others to keep from being controlled, but that's a path of never-ending hatred! Don't you understand? It can only end in destruction. The only way to avoid it is with forgiveness! The words of a coward, the weakness disgusts me! But you're wrong. It takes true power to forgive! I have no peace for the peace. The strong shall always triumph here. You say that because you've been alone so long. If you had someone, anyone to turn to, a single friend, someone to love, people who would support and guide you. You can't have been alone your whole life. For me among those the lashes of whips. Each strike spreading a screen of fire across my back. The masters who killed slaves for sport. And the slaves who sacrificed their compatriots that they might live. There is no love. No friendship. Not there or anywhere else. Is there no way for you to see this differently? Enough! You gamble the fate of this world to save a single life. And yet I am the evil one? How utterly ridiculous. It's true. Maybe it is selfish of me to want to save her, but I swore that I would let no one else be sacrificed in this battle. I can't bear to see her die. <laughs> you and I are so much more alike than I had ever imagined. No, we're not. I want a world built on kindness, on giving, on warmth. You take and destroy. I have nothing to choose. Try this. Explosive rage! Try this! Fresh hot proof of it! All others shall be banished! <laughs> <laughs> Try harder! Beyond can't! Try this! Splendid flash! Try this! The blazing sword! The power Sion has bestowed upon me! I'll take you down! This one's all mine! You picked the wrong fight! The flame inside me yearns to be let free! You picked the wrong fight! It's time! Not today! It's time! It's over! You are the last obstacle impeding my progress! Die! That's my life! I'll show you the limits of your solitude!
what you've done is evil. There's no denying that. I know you didn't walk your path out of weakness, but merely from misguided strength. Misguided because you were alone. Because you had no friends to keep you on the straight and narrow. No one to use all that strength for other than yourself. That loneliness could make a monster out of anyone. Out of me. I understand. And I forgive you, Volrun. I don't need your victor's pity. And you can choke on your vain forgiveness! Don't! You wish to save this world? To make your selfish dreams into reality? If you choose to walk that path, you choose a path of betrayal, despair, and corruption. And in the darkness at the end, I'll be waiting for you! Voron! spirit will break free. And when that happens, no one will be spared. But there's still time. You can still destroy the thorns and me with them. But that is... That's exactly what we've been fighting to prevent. I promised I would find a way to save you. You did. I know. But I don't want you to die either. So please, don't let me be the end of the world. The path Dana's energy flowed through is still open. We can use it to call out to Dana's will. Alfin, what are you saying? Don't you remember? Rinwell said there was a little bit of Dana's will inside all of us. If there is a way everyone can come together to form Dana's will, then maybe we can ask for it to help us. Find us a way out of this. Are you really saying that if all of Dana thinks of saving us, it will become the will of the planet itself? That's madness. Maybe so, but it's the only way we can save you. And the only way to save Rena, too. To save Rena? That's right. Rena's will never had evil intent. If we're saving everyone, that includes them. I don't want to live in a world without you, Sion. And I'm tired of living a life built on death. Alvin, I... I'm with you. Will of Dene! 
you hear my plea? I want to save Sion! And I want to save Rena too! I want to end this cycle of one joy constantly being sacrificed for another's pain! So please! Grant us your strength!
Something feels odd here. Be on your guard. Well, tell me about your parents. What were they like? They were kind. That's the part I like to remember. They could also be strict, though, especially when it came to magic. I never understood why I had to work so hard to learn magic. Why we couldn't just be done with it and live openly like everyone else. Needless to say, that didn't go over well. Of course, if I'd had known that one day I'd be doing this, I would have taken my studies more seriously. What about your parents? Same deal. Run through the mill. Told constantly that training was the only way to survive in a world like this. It got bad enough that I ended up running away and siding with the Renans of all people. And now, I've got that training to thank for being alive. I know how that feels. The first time we met, you risked using your magic to stop me from kicking my dad's ass. You could have done anything else. You could have ignored it. So... Why? Yeah, I guess something about Zephyr reminded me of my own father. You don't say. So, did your pops and mine look a lot like each other? Not really. Not at all, in fact. I don't know how to explain it. I just felt a resemblance, I guess. Wow. Well, I won't pretend I understand, but I'm glad. Your dad must have been a great guy. He was. a blip on our radar. Look out! What the hell is that? Hey! You want a piece of me? Stay calm, Law. It's coming for us. You just had to make things difficult for us, didn't you? What are you muttering about? Focus or you'll get hurt! Don't worry. I'll have this wrapped up in a flash. Outstanding form! Uh, 
Now you're getting serious? I'll heal you all! Not done yet! Trigger 
with that creature. It was some sort of a zoogle that could control light. Ringwell, do you think that could have been... The true form of the phantom flower? No, it couldn't be. What makes you so sure? Because... What the... Whoa! What the hell is that? Is the enemy back for more? Whatever it is, it's freaking huge! You guys, calm down. It's okay. It's probably... No, it's definitely the Phantom Flower of Nevira! I read about it in that book we found earlier. It was described as a mysterious light floating up in the sky. It's not dangerous at all. In fact, this is the place it was first discovered. So that's how it got its name, then. You sure it's not some enemy astral art being cast at us? Positive. I think it's just a rare and unusual weather phenomenon more than anything else. Cislodia obviously used to be covered in darkness around the clock. But with that gone, I guess that's why we're able to see this again? You could be right. It's so pretty, though, isn't it? Sure, but it's so big we could have seen it from town just fine, couldn't we? Well, sure, but still. Hey, who cares where we saw it? I'm just glad we got to see it at all. Besides, that Zoogle was what kept us from seeing it before, right? Yeah, I guess so. It's such a gorgeous night sky here. You should really bring Xion out to watch it. Right. Right. I'll, uh, do that. It took a lot to get here, but I can't help but feel like a dream of mine came true. Thanks, Law. I didn't do all that much, really. Well, I still really appreciate it. It made me really, really happy. Uh, hey, uh, you know I... Oh, it looks like you can see it even better from over there. I'm gonna go check it out. Huh? Hey, wait! Renwell. You've collected an awful lot of those objects. You sure it's not just ju- Hush, be quiet for a moment. The pieces speak to me. What? These relics that have scattered about, I can hear them whispering, longing to reunite with their lost friends and become one again. Really? Do you hear any voices coming from them, Rinwell? What? No! Don't get me wrong, I'm really interested in these things too, but I'm not crazy. But don't you sometimes mutter stuff like, Come to me, astral energy, when you cast your arts? <sighs> you... you're right. Oh my gosh, are Dohalim and I actually alike? Its charm really shines through now that it's been reassembled. Its streamlined shape, its geometric patterns. This is no mere amateur's work. He's in his own little world at this point. You get just like him when it comes to weapons, you know. Uh, you're right. Oh my gosh. Am I just like Dohalim? Huh? Why are you guys so quiet all of a sudden? That treasure. What a sweet sounding ring it has. Uh, you really think so? I still got a ways to go.
Looks like we made it here in one piece. Let's see what's going on around here. Yeah. Yes! Hmm. Excuse me! Agreed. Very nice. Dohalim, the line of researchers is getting longer. Perhaps I should have put more thought into this before accepting. Hey. If we find anyone who needs help here... I know. We'll make sure to ask what's wrong. Mm-hmm. Huh? Looks like we made it here in one piece. Let's see what's going on around here. Yeah, there might be someone who could use our help. Hey, she's pretty cute. Who are you looking at? Quit gawking and let's go. Ow!
Huh? Well... All right. Hmm. Huh? Uh -huh. All right. I guess. <sighs> Whew. Got it. Thing. Nice. It's probably the accessor. Kisara, let's talk for a bit. So, Kisara, once this fight is all over, I'm guessing you plan on heading back to Vicent? Yeah. I've seen and learned so much traveling Dano with you all. I want to see those lessons applied back home. Hopefully, I can use that knowledge to help reform Menencia even further, so it can be a model to other realms. What about you, Alfin? What's your plan? That's. A good question. I think I would be happy just to be able to put my fighting days behind me, and live a calmer, more peaceful life. Granted, all I've ever known is how to swing a sword. I'm not sure that switch will be so easy. Still, as long as I have somewhere to come home to, somewhere with a roof and four walls without any holes in them, that'll be good enough for me. It would be a home with enough food to make sure I don't go hungry, and a warm bed at night so I don't freeze. It wouldn't have to be anything fancy. You've always been modest like that. But you're forgetting something else that makes a home. Family. What if you and Xion... I hate to make this conversation all about me. Is there anything you want for yourself once things are over? For myself? I've never really thought about it. Hmm. Well, there is one thing I can think of. I don't know if I should say it, though. Yeah? I want a fishing pond. Really? Yeah, I've been thinking about it for a while now. I love fishing, but it's always been such a process to actually do. You always have to make all these preparations before you go out and fish. It'd be nice to have a place I could visit without that hassle. Dig a pond, fill it with water, and get some fish for it. If I could do that, I wouldn't have to worry about zoogles, and everyone could use it. If you really do love fishing, if you're even thinking of ways to help other people enjoy it. I do. Just don't tell him I said any of this, okay? Him? You mean Dohalim? True. If he caught wind of it, it might turn into a way bigger project than it really needs to be. Not only that. He's still determined to make Vicente's residence happy. But personally, I feel his power would be better put to use elsewhere. So if I ever get around to making my fishing pond, I'd rather do it on my own. Well, if you ever need help, don't hesitate to ask. I don't know my lures from my rods, but I can definitely help with any manual labor you need. That's sweet of you to offer. I think I'll take you up on that. 
And then, with the fish I catch there, I could treat everyone to special home-cooked dinners. I'm getting excited already just thinking about it. I suppose I never realized until this conversation that I had any dreams like that for myself. Thank you, Alfin. I need your help in order to make my ideals a reality, Alfin. Rise and shine! We're almost ready to leave. <laughs>